What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about one of the last packs that just got added into Cold War Year 2, the new Mastercraft and even more. Definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure you have notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and any other future Call of Duty as well. But before we continue, let's go ahead and thank the sponsor of today's video. Now tonight's video is sponsored by Crucial. The Crucial System Scanner by Micron is trusted by millions of users to safely scan your computer. The scanner will help you see your options automatically, providing you with compatible memory and storage parts in a matter of minutes. And this is great for somebody not only like myself, who just moved to PC recently and wasn't really knowledgeable about how to optimize my computer to better run my games, run my videos, but this is also great for those out there that may have had a PC for quite some time, but aren't exactly aware as to what parts they need to then upgrade their builds to then better run their games or better optimize their workflow. Now, upgrading your PC is very simple with Crucial, as they offer the widest selection of memory and storage parts for your computer. Now, the free Crucial System Scanner, this is important, does show you compatible upgrades for your PC without accessing personal data or installing anything suspicious on your computer. Let's make that very clear. Now, you can scan your current memory configurations and storage drives to get guaranteed compatible memory and storage upgrade options faster than any other site could ever provide. Now, don't forget a Crucial upgrade can boost your PC performance to play the latest games or increase your frame rate, which is crucial for Warzone, and I get it, Warzone isn't the easiest game to optimize for any computer, but Crucial really comes in clutch here. Now, Crucial does believe that everyday consumers can and should have the ability to improve their computers through a do-it-yourself method, instead of contacting another company, paying somebody else to do it, this is very simple for anybody to hop onto and better optimize their computer. Now, while I'm new to PC, I'm absolutely impressed with how much better my games are running now, thanks to Crucial, but don't forget to use code DKDYNAMITE15, the special link down below to download the Crucial Scanner for free and to get 15% out of all Crucial products. But thank you to Crucial for sponsoring tonight's video. Now back to the video, today was the release date of the Annihilation Mastercraft bundle here in Cold War and it released pretty unexpectedly. I know we had a patch sitting in the PlayStation database a good week and a half ago. We weren't sure what was in that and when it was finally gone through by the usual suspects on the internet, people only found references to two upcoming bundles here in Season 5 of Year 2. Now, there is a possibility that we end up getting maybe a mid-season update for Cold War to add in maybe a couple more bundles, possibly something else, but the chances of that, at least in my opinion, opinion are slim to none. I know there have been some other seasons throughout year two where we got two patches in a single season. I think that was during season two of Vanguard where Cold War got two different updates featuring more weapons, bundles, WMD jungle. I get that, but I think this time around, this really is the end. Now, I already gave my thoughts in a previous video regarding the lack of fire range and summon in this game and how they maybe at least could have added grid here in multiplayer since the assets are already in fire team. But you know what? It's still been an honor covering Cold War this long. It's been a ton of fun. Really hyping up year two and enjoying WMD and jungle, the new weapons, and of course all of the bundles which have been a blast to cover here in videos for you guys out there that are interested. But there's actually a glitch that happened which people out there were tweeting me about, so I thank all you guys for letting me know about this. So a couple of days ago there was a create a class glitch where if you went over to the Tech 9 and scrolled over to all of the available bundles for the Tech 9, you would see the Annihilation Pack which was not scheduled to release until today. So people out there have had access to this one for the last couple of days now since the patch got installed. I think on Tuesday and it's interesting to see that because there were maybe a handful of bundles that had this kind of glitch during year one of Cold War. I think one of them was that Disciple bundle for Weaver. That one also popped up by mistake throughout the Creative Class Armory in Cold War and Warzone and people out there had bought that pack a good 20 plus days before it even came out. At least this Tech 9 Mastercraft is out now. It's only been out early for a couple of days. It wasn't this whole month gap from the glitch to the actual launch but obviously for those that bought it early they couldn't really take it away from you considering you put actual money down in COD points to go ahead and pick up the pack. So that's probably why nobody out there uh, got it removed or anything after buying it. There's only a hot fix for when maybe a free unlockable weapon goes live by mistake such as the scythe a couple of months ago. People out there unlocked it but got it taken away. If they had bought the bundle for the scythe that became available through a glitch then that probably would not have been taken away from you though. We also have the release date 
of what could be the final pack coming to Cold War, which is on September the 9th. This is going to be the Eternal Strike Reactive Pack, featuring a really cool reactive blueprint for the UGR. The new SMG as a part of Year 2, and it also features a pretty Zombies Focus bundle, obviously with Weaver being the face of it all, which is very, very exciting. But unless other bundles were not finished for Season 5 on time, and they couldn't be added to this patch, then I do think this could be the last two bundles being added into Cold War. But now let's go ahead and check out this brand new bundle in detail. So this is the Annihilation Mastercraft Tracer Pack for 2400 COD points. As it says, bring about the end of days with the Tracer pack annihilation mastercraft pack no this bundle features blueprints with orange and purple tracer fire starting off with the dusk kemper skin for the one and only helen park very cyberpunk futuristic nightclub like vibes here with this skin you kind of see an animation here in uh, her glasses got the numbers effect going on there and it's a very tactical outfit a very heavy one lots of gear i think it's a baton on her back if i'm not mistaken something like that be cool if you could actually take it out she has dual knives i think on her side very interesting skin there for Park. We then have the Mimicry Mastercraft for the one and only Tech 9, the best weapon in colder multiplayer by far. Very cool looking design on the skin itself, like dragon scales, got a nice like hot rod type vibe with the hot pink and the red. Loving the design of that one. We next up have the heat treated blueprint for the Pellington Sniper, a pretty solid sniper and MP, not the greatest in Warzone, but loving that scale design on it as well. Really cool texture. We next up have the paper wheel charm. It would be cool if it was animated though, right? If it was an animated charm that actually spun around like a pinwheel would. We next up have the Spark Reticle, not too bad. And then we have the Stay Put Finishing Move. Go ahead and check that out. And yeah, that's why it's called Stay Put, so you can get shot in the face. We then have the Confetti Gesture, would be perfect for a New Year's bundle if this would have came out a couple of months later. We then have the Tempered Watch, really cool there. Not animated or anything, but still a nice design. And we then have a really interesting zombie themed animated calling card, the Decaying Motions, followed by an animated emblem, which is also a blend between Park's face from the skin and even a zombie, Dead Reveal. Really cool to see more zombie crossovers with these packs. But without further ado, let's take all this content in game. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Von Boyage, the beautiful hijacked remaster here in Colder Multiplayer. You know what I was thinking? I'm like, to really match the theme of this park. Park skin. I think a map like Plaza would have worked perfectly <laughs> alongside this bundle's release. That old cyberpunk nightclub kind of vibe I'm getting from the entire pack. But sadly, we didn't get Plaza in this game. And already seeing frags being thrown, and I get shot by the man himself. Oh, using... I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. I am ready to check out this beautiful inspect animation. Let's... Okay. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that at all. Very, very cool inspect. Whoa. I nice. actually did not see any early gameplay of this one on Twitter. I purposely avoided it. I'm like, you know what? It's one of the last bundles. And he got me. It's one of the last he bundles coming out in uh, in Cold War. Let's go ahead and uh, surprise ourselves with the inspect. And we also have the brand new confetti gesture. Let's go ahead and pop that. Beautiful. But the tracers are definitely visible. You can see that nice purple and orange hybrid there. We also have the Pellington Sniper. Very, very nice uh, scale-like texture on the blueprint itself. Nice little headshot. Quick, quick. Here we go. And Park kills Park. Very, very cool. Bot almost killed me there. And we get a nice look at our beautiful calling card and emblem. Loving the whole zombie hybrid theme going on with this pack. And our last finisher on the Tech 9 user, Mr. Sean. Ooh, that is brutal wow. when they're laying down. That is brutal. But folks, I am blown away by this inspect. What a way to and our year two bundles with this crazy inspect animation. It's probably one of the craziest ones, I think, in this game. I seriously believe the year two bundles might have actually topped all the ones we got in year one. So I'm really curious what these master camels are going to look like on these blueprints. Very excited to see. We have gold, which does blend nice with the whole dragon scale theme on the Mastercraft. Diamond looks nasty, for sure, mixing with that purple there. And then Dark Matter Ultra just seems like it was made to blend with this Mastercraft. That's how perfectly it blends in. Absolutely love that. And then for zombies, we have Golden Viper, which again, I'm not much of a fan of here in Cold War. Plague Diamond looks pretty sharp. Does match the whole purple theme going on with the skin and then lastly dark ether which looks absolutely disgusting here on our wonderful tech nine moving on to the pellington though we first have our multiplayer camels we have gold which does look pretty good you can still see the purple towards the back of it we then have regular diamond which doesn't cover nearly the entire blueprint but you can still get the hint that this is a special skin and then we have dark matter ultra which does look pretty good with the whole orange going on there with the scope and then lastly, we have Zombies, Golden Viper. It looks all right, a little dark for my liking. We have the Plague 
Diamond, which does look pretty nice. And then lastly, Dark Ether, which just always looks good on any blueprint, no matter if it's a Mastercraft or a Reactive. So there you have it. Chat, right away I thought about Modern Toad, and I'm like, look, Sone wanted to hop on here. I think the blueprint would look fantastic. But I was also thinking about that rabbit easter egg where we can go to the club which will perfectly fit the whole theme of this park skin in my opinion that old cyberpunk nightclub type vibe that i'm getting and this inspect looks crazy since we're on a night map now oh my lord i am in love and tech nine is obviously just disgusting in zombies i think it's even crazy against legion as well right sean I, I i'm pretty sure i've seen gameplay of the tech nine and, and legion we might have even brought it to the boss fight right i think we have multiple so, times yeah yeah pretty sure the tech nine shreds that critical damage is nasty the tech nine against the tempest oh man disgusting and whoo let's activate the starling storm shout out to buddy skeptic dbd user yep oh this thing melts holy crap at the reload melting oh my god oh my god Woo. tier one pack a punch here on our mastercraft look how that looks damn oh that blend's pretty sweet that blend is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot. Really like that a lot. Looks so good with the inspect animation as well. Nice. And Mr. Peaks. This is exactly the part of the map I wanted to hop onto with our lovely new park skin. Looks perfect, blends perfect. And I'm still surprised though, they didn't put a room from Kino in the side Easter egg, considering Kino's down the street from where we are on Mauer. But you know what? This Easter egg is still worthwhile. It's a lot of fun to do. And we are going off with this Tech 9. Oh my god, Mangler. This is the closest to Plaza we are going to get yet. <laughs> I know those remasters are rumored for MP, but they never came out. Yemen and Plaza. Maybe in uh, the next game, though. We'll have to wait and see. All right, how lucky are we, chat? Which door should we go through? <laughs> Let's see. Let's do two. Want to do two? Yeah. We'll go right do down two. the middle. Let's we'll go right down the middle. To be honest, I don't think I've ever gotten the right chest. Did we get it? Is that it? <gasps> is this? I think that's it. Is this the right one? No. Uh, no. We're, I don't think we're it close. Was. We're, we're close. Think, we're close. Uh, it, it just looked really gold to the point that, where I that thought. That was definitely better. Yeah, that was, a... that was. Maybe that's like the second best. But chat, I'm very excited to see how this Tech 9 holds up over in Warzone Season 5. All right, folks, we are here on Operation Last Call. And I actually butchered the name of the Masscraft earlier. Excuse me. It's the Mimicry, not the Mimicry can't speak <laughs> let's check out this inspect here on war zone see if i get shot at before i can inspect properly okay uh it's definitely cooler in cold war it's a little faded on war zone you don't really get the full effect from that inspect but still better than nothing i guess at least it works yep okay you think kelly's thing <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great. I'm done. One final ride. One last ride. Dominic Toretto. <laughs> Even though the inspect for the Tech 9 is a bit scuffed, at least the park skin looks pretty solid. You still see all the gear. You got the glasses. You can see the numbers uh, animated effect in the glasses as well, which is sick. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm not gonna... oh, even with tempered. Even with tempered. Quick little snipe. Damn. Two shots to finish them. Oh, he had a gas mask. And don't oh, forget, chat, toggle okay, your gas mask on. Toggle your gas mask on. Turn that on in settings. So it doesn't ruin your final circles anymore. That is perfect. Are you just planning? Oh! Lop the... Dude. Woo! All MW skins. Well, these guys are ready for Warzone 2. What is this? They have the blueprint not... too. They already have the blueprint. They're just walking to like, okay. Hit him. Down them. Right. Yeah, in the head. Right in the fucking... Ooh! Ooh! Let me down. Yeah, that's what downing makes me expect. What he's mean, dude. I can't. Oh my god. Oh wait, the meteor. The meteor. <laughs> he dipped. Oh, oh! Your God is no touch ball. Watch my back. Hey, buddy. And here's the finisher, baby. 
Rest the peace, Menendez. Defusing. Is someone gonna push while I'm doing this? How do you? I don't understand that. Woo! Two cutscenes in a row, so it's the exact same skin. Yeah. It, it, it's bugged. There's no way. Now, before I end this video, I also wanted to point out that the original voice actor of Menendez, Kamar de los Reyes, has returned to do new voice lines for Menendez in Season 5. Obviously, Menendez is the face of this season, but I wasn't exactly sure if the original voice actor came back, but he made it very well known over on Twitter that, yes, he's back. So that has me excited that maybe we can get a cameo or even a full role for Menendez in Black Ops 2024, and I'm sure Kamar would also like to come back to do more lines for him. We could even fill in some gaps from young Menendez in the 80s and 90s to kind of tie more into Black Ops Cold War's plot. You can even get some flash forwards to what happened after BO2. We'd we'll love to see more of Menendez, of course, in the future. But also, as a bit of a closing note, Rebirth has indeed returned into Warzone today. We had a couple of days away from Rebirth, but now it's come back with a beautiful new Sunset Skybox. It looks fantastic and is a bit of an emotional send off for Rebirth altogether. It'll always be available to play even after Warzone 2 comes out, but it'll be the final update Rebirth does get here in Season 5. It was also confirmed that next week we're also going to be getting a bit of a night cycle into Rebirth which is very similar to how Rebirth of the Dead looked uh, when that mode was available a little while back so it's cool that Rebirth is getting some love here for the final season of Warzone 1. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on one of the last packs being added here into Cold War Year 2? How are you feeling about the brand new Mastercraft and everything else we went over? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody.